Hello and welcome everyone and thank you for coming here today. I'm uh, Michael, the CEO of co-founder of ProMe. It's the video editing SaaS platform. Uh, now I know it's been a very long two days, so as my dad used to say, start any presentation with the words, I'll be short. So I'll try to make it sweet and short for you. So I'm here to present to you a machine that saves creatives a lot of time and alleviate them from manual labor intense job. And a good example of such a machine is IBM's supercomputer Watson that was used in 2016 to create an alternative trailer for their movie Morgan. But I'll come back to you with the learnings they've made from that test. Now, looking at the reasons why there's a need to pioneering the content creation uh, um, yeah, software or solution, from the cultural point of view, consumers nowadays, they expect to try before they buy anything, especially on demand. And trailers are being the most kind of effective way to inform the consumers about upcoming shows still. But they're expensive to make, really difficult to manage. And as you can imagine, uh, it's a manual labor intense work. So there is a need to pioneer this whole process by creating more personalized trailers and alleviating creative people from the manual and labor intense job or their tasks. So there are two main areas where the machine can help, where the AI can help creatives. One of them is tagging the videos with different categories such as where is the celebrity? Where is an object? Where can I see a dragon, explosion, noise level? Or creating a highlights of a soccer game, for example. And tagging a video with different categories is like creating a control F button in the Word document where you can search for anything. Show me where Brad Pitt is in my video. Show me where the dragon is, where the explosion is, or a BMW car. And two main areas uh, where AI-generated promos, clips, or previews can be used is one of them, a video on demand, OTT platform, and secondly, in the marketing efforts. So if I'll show you a few examples, you've probably seen this on Netflix already where when you hover with the mouse or you go with your remote control and a little clip personalized to you starts playing in the background. Or for mass marketing, our clients using those clips in their kind of desire to target the audience that they want to catch and find. And it's really hard to do if you create a few trailers to service them all, right? Um, results been overwhelming with increasing month-on-month -month views, decreasing cost per view, and of course view through rates are improving significantly. And coming back to my example with supercomputer Watson, what 20th Century Fox learned from that time is combining machine intelligence with human expertise can save them can, or save them a lot of time. Uh, from the machine, analyze the movie Morgan, spit out six minutes of content till the creators finished their alternative trailer, it took them less than 24 hours. An original trailer took them around 10 to 30 days. And it's official information, you can actually Google it and find it online. So the response from the market has been huge. I mean, since I've updated this presentation a few weeks ago, those numbers improve, improved, or let's say the companies that contacted us improved. I mean, those, I think we're gonna triple the amount of tests and trials we're doing at the moment. A few of them converted to the clients already. And of other achievements, we recently got Microsoft's Alan Boyd uh, on board. He was the first head of product for Microsoft, and later on he was the head of acquisitions for Microsoft. And, uh, well, industry loves it because it saves them a lot of time. And secondly, they can create, uh, you know, trailers at scale, improving their, uh, improving their, um, yeah, they can create a trailer for every episode they have. They don't have to choose which campaigns to focus on anymore. And of course, another comment we've got is, well, machines are taking over the world anyway. We might as well try to lead this. Uh, our business model is SaaS, and future plans is to expand to other verticals like gaming or uh, movies or branded content. And looking at uh, our revenue, we've been making the money since the first day we started. The company is almost three years old, uh, slowly building our product and expanding to other regions from the UK. Uh, we're currently raising half a million to one million pounds to fuel our sales and, of course, build the next level of our product. And look at the team. Uh, we all come from the TV industry with a combined 60 years of experience. 
chaired by Lester Mordi, who is the European president of the largest TV community in the world called Promax, for those of you who know Promax. And I am pretty much done, so let me show you one of those trailers we made for one of our clients. Welcome by using our machine. Ambassador of Plebiscito, the largest public square in Naples. Geologist Dr. Gianluca Mean was the first to open up a huge section of the tunnels. Try it, please. Don't be afraid. Look at this a stairway to heaven. The mosaic floor isn't the only treat. 400 people, one tenth of the population, waiting on the shore for a rescue that never came. Yep, that was all from me. Thank you very much for listening, guys.